In the last video, we looked at uh, Kalman filter, which is which can be useful for uh, slam techniques. There is an extended Kalman filter, which is used in most of the slam algorithms. In this next few minutes, we are going to see what is the difference between the uh, Kalman filter and the extended Kalman filter and then see how we can use the extended Kalman filter in a simple visual slam. We are to talking about a extended Kalman filter. Usually it is called a EKF in the reading material or on the end of textbooks. So, uh, the Kalman filter what we looked at is if you uh, just for recollecting we have this state vector t plus 1 we wanted to you know predict the state vector from uh, the earlier state it should be yes, or earlier state vector some function and uh, another function into you know u of t is a control this is the you know uh, position or yeah, state, vec uh, state vector, the earlier timestamp, this is the control vector, earlier uh, at the current uh, uh, state and uh, also some noise, right. This is the process noise we said, process noise. And similarly, we have this uh, measurement is it some function of t no x of uh, uh, t and uh, uh, there is a there is a measurement noise measurement noise these are the two equations we saw in the last class about the Kalman filter so, this functions we mentioned that this is a f function, this is a b function, this is a h function. These functions it is assumed to be linear functions f, b and h are linear functions. If it is a linear function this algorithm works fine, but usually in most of the uh, real cases they are all non-linear functions it is not linear linear function if it is not non-linear then and we need to we cannot at, uh, use the Kalman filter as it is we need to linearize the non-linear equations and before we use it for the v slam techniques so ekf is nothing but linear version of linear version of uh, linearizing the linearize linearizing the nonlinear functions functions about uh, the current mean and uh, no variance So, it is an approximation of the nonlinear functions, which is most of the cases in, a, uh, in a real situations. So, that is what the EK of, of uh, uh, Kalman filter is extended Kalman filter is. Again, I am not going to go into the details of the mathematical equations. Uh, I am going to give a tutorial in the website. Uh, I am going to ask you to go through the tutorial and then do a very simple assignment as required uh, in the in the course. That will help you to you know, uh, pick up the the real basic concepts of the uh, the Kalman extended Kalman filter, which is necessary for the visual slam.
Okay. Now, with uh, EKF, how can we uh, do this uh, visual slam? In the visual slam, essentially, we slam, specifically, we are going to look at the monocular. monocular slam. Monocular slam involves really four steps. The first step is the identification of the landmarks from the images, identify landmarks from images from video frame. So, these landmarks are also called the features. The features are examples of these features are the, the uh, uh, edges or corners. So, many edges and corners in a typical image can be used as a you know, landmark identifying the landmark is the first step in an image for the monocular slam. And then uh, 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 landmarks in the successive frames are matched in the successive frames, frames we are talking about the video frames, video frames or are matched. So, the next take the next frame from the video and identify the same landmarks and may, there may be different set of uh, features in the second frame and uh, match the feature set from first frame and the second frame. Once you have the match then the matched landmarks are used to generate information, generate information about the, the pose of the camera, pose of the camera and the, the map of the environment. The matched landmarks can then be used to estimate the pose and the and the map of the um, uh, environment. Then, now more video frames frames can be used can be used to find the path of the camera. camera and the and the the environment right these are the four steps only one assumption major assumption in all these four steps is that the environment is not changing the 3d environment or physical environment physical environment is not changing if it is changing then the features may be different. So, we may not be able to match the landmarks. If we cannot match the landmarks then the pose and the mapping cannot be you know, uh, uh, estimated. This estimation again will be you know, using these EKF uh, algorithms which we just talked about. So, visual slam or monocular slam involves mostly uh, this four steps. So, in a visual slam the camera state can be written as let us say camera state is nothing but the, the pose. The pose can be either in a quaternion or vector notation or anything you can use and then we have this uh, feature state let us say uh, feature state i 
each feature state let us say uh, x i y i z i and then we can say e k f system state we can write that is nothing but uh, x is nothing but uh, the camera comma x 1 f 1 f 2 feature 2 and such like this. So, this is a system state and for each of this state it is we can also come up with the uh, the, um, the variance matrix and the, the estimation or the measurement from the uh, camera also will have a variance and uh, the prediction stage as well as the, the update stage can be you know, used to uh, uh, accurately estimate the, the pose as well as the map of it. Again and uh, in all of this algorithms the pinhole camera model is used. In the pinhole camera model, we have uh, one image and uh, we have the origin over here and in this origin we are talking about the x and then we are talking about the, the y and then we can talking about the, the z which is going through this one. So, this is going to be the z of the camera let us say this are all camera and at any point on the image then can have a ray let us say this point p is uh, x of i y of i then uh, uh, this uh, ray can be of uh, p of x of i y of i comma z of uh, c z of c. This is the depth of the this particular plane right z c plane. So, all the points on the plane will have the depth uh, z of c. This is a pinhole camera. So, with this simple camera model uh, we can uh, and the e k f uh, algorithm we can recursively estimate the pose as well as the the, the map of this uh, map of the environment that is a monocular slam. So, uh, again to make it a little more clear let us start with a yeah, video frame from the video frame let us estimate features. And uh, from the features, let us uh, do the measurement model. From the measurement model, we have this EKF update. From the EKF update, the EKF update also needs prediction, right. Model prediction, motion model prediction. So, motion model prediction, right. And the from the motion model prediction, again the features it can be a input to the feature and uh, this motion model prediction can be you know can have input from IMU also these are the inputs. So, um, let me put this as an input this is an input and then so we are uh, we are talking about the after the update we are talking about the we are checking whether the features are feature transform are there any change in the uh, feature each of the feature if there is yes then an uh, up, up, uh, update the, the feature 
feature transformation if there is no Again, so going over here, if it is no, let us say this is no, then we are talking about the are there any new features detector? New features, if there are new features, yes, then we give this to the prediction state. If there is no new feature again we give this back to prediction. So, basically if there is uh, yes then we are talking about the uh, feature feature uh, position or matching or uh, yeah position we are talking about. estimated feature position which can be given back to this. Initially, it we might need to start with uh, uh, some you know, initial variables start starting state. This is how a, a typical virtual slam or monocular slam works. So, in this case uh, we have taken uh, IMU also as an input in most of the cases uh, now IMU may not be necessary or, or uh, uh, some cases as uh, IMU with uh, the help of uh, IMU uh, uh, it might uh, give you much more uh, uh, better results. Uh, I am sure you are all aware of the Google Tango projects, Google Tango projects and uh, unfortunately this project is uh, you know, uh, stopped recently. Uh, you know, if you are not aware of it, you can download this Google Tango app into your mobile phone and then play with this and recently there is also uh, Sony AR effects, Sony AR effects. So, if you are not aware of it, it uh, uh, I am going to request you to pause this video for a minute and then uh, uh, play with this Sony AR effects in your uh, mobile phone and then uh, continue this um, tutorial. Okay. So, we are also now giving you a link for the you know, uh, extended Kalman filter tutorial I'll, uh, in this uh, website. As, uh, we are, so, please practice this uh, tutorial very well uh, which is going to be you know, useful uh, for many of the AR projects in the coming years. We will stop here. Thank you.